10 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. We're hearing for the first time from a local delegate who blew over the legal alcohol limit while driving and didn't get arrested. In the last 30 minutes, Delegate Chris Hurst issued an apology saying, quote, I'm very sorry this happened and take full responsibility for exercising such poor judgment. This mistake is not something I take lightly. The Christiansburg Police Department says around 2 a.m. Sunday, an officer saw Hurst speeding and swerving several times. During the stop, the officer noticed Hurst's eyes were red and said, he could smell alcohol. Hearst blew a .085 and was given several field sobriety tests. Despite being over the legal limit, the officer decided to let him go. He said that decision was based on Hearst's performance during the field sobriety test and that a passenger was able to take over driving. The officer also said in the time it would have taken to bring Hearst before a magistrate for a formal breathalyzer test, he would have been under the legal limit. The Montgomery County Commonwealth's attorney points out, however, that Hearst or any other legislator cannot be arrested for a DUI or any other misdemeanor while the General Assembly is in session. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett joins us now live outside the police department. And Lindsay, this law comes as a shock to a lot of Rachel, that's right. This law essentially gives diplomatic immunity to members of the General Assembly while they're in session. Under the Virginia Constitution, it says that in all cases, except for treason, felony, or breach of the peace, state senators and representatives cannot be arrested when the House or Senate is in session. They also cannot be arrested under any civil process during session or 15 days before or after a session starts and ends. In Virginia, intoxicated driving does not become a felony charge until someone's third of within a 10-year span. There are similar laws in other states that give legislators immunity, like West Virginia and Arizona, and I will have more on this law and how it's put into practice here in Virginia, starting on 10 News at 5. Live in Christiansburg, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Thank you for that report, Lindsay. We've reached out to Attorney General Mark Herring, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and the Christiansburg Police Department for their reaction to this news. This is a story we'll be closely following today and expect to have new information for you tonight starting at 5. For more on this story, head to WSLS.com.